Here we are, the floor is finally put in. I started this project about six months ago and I haven't been faithful to it. So I got like six months of videos to go back to try to make up a video of putting this together. So I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but the passenger side will be better. So grab yourself a motherfucking beer and watch the video on how I put the floor pan in. All right, I kind of got things set up where I want for right now. So I'm gonna show you what I got going on. I got the uh, floor pan on here, just kind of looking around. Just gonna get ready to start mounting this up. Some of these holes don't line up perfectly because I'm using a Dan Chuck brace and uh, I got this floor pan from Eckler. So they're not gonna be 100% perfect, but what I realized is that I'm not gonna tack it into place till after everything's on like the rockers because if I set this into place and weld it, if this isn't in the right location where I put the rockers in, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. This floor brace, however, I can weld that into place because there's only one way you can go because I got the bolts coming up to the floor. Same with this piece here. Even though the short brace goes here, it's most likely going to fit here. There could be some small play in there that I might have to deal with. So, worked in the 57 Chevy. Got the bottom of these with some self-etching primer. Got some self-etching primer in the bottom of here. Resprayed this. I'm going to put this back on top, tack it into place. Now, if you're going to reuse the original bench seat, you might want to be a little bit more critical about this, but welding this section on afterwards. But since I'm not reusing the original seat, or probably even reusing those bolt holes, I just got it centered as best I could. I'm going to go ahead and then weld there, weld there, weld there, weld there. Those six holes, and then we're done. Got that welded in place, grind it the welds down nice and smooth. That part's taken oh, care yeah, of. Yeah, I went to remove the front body mount off my 57 Chevy. And no surprise that the thing just broke right off. Man, look at all that fucking corrosion that's built up. Good thing I got all new bushings and bolts. Now I got everything ready. We're gonna drop the floor back in now, set it up. And then get ready to tack it in. We're almost ready to start tack welding it in. I might have to uh, push it back a little bit first, but we need to get this end up and clamped into place. Then once we got that, double check everything, throw a few tack welds in and see what happens. I just punched through a couple tack welds on the back side here. And I still Gotta bend the metal in the middle there, and just hold on, I'll get a better light Punch here. the two spot well holes on the top of the tunnel, and then I need to kind of work with this middle section here because it's not lining up perfectly, and then fix the metal in around here. But I got this section already set up, ready to go. Gonna put one tack weld there, one tack weld to the other side of the hole, and then Kind of work with the metal over here to kind of get lined up a little bit better. I just got two holes right there to tack weld. Got my vice grips there, but I think after I tack weld those, then I'm gonna get my porta power in, push on this, see if I can push it up a little bit to make it a little bit more level, and then we'll tack the rest of this tunnel in. All right, the tunnel tacking in place come on pretty good. I got my hydraulic ram. This thing has saved my ass so many times, and especially today. I used it to tweak that tunnel to get my body lines a little bit better, and now I'm gonna punch a few tack welds in her, and that'll hold it in place. See what I mean? This thing is fucking genius. <laughs> just gonna remove my block now, and we're just gonna Let's set this back down. Just like that. I just put in a couple tack welds on that ledge. I got my porta power pushing the floor over. Now I'm going to release it. And then we're going to put it on the floor, just kind of push that lip up a little bit better. And then I'll try to hit it down with the hammer and then put some more tack welds into place. So when I release the pressure, Good, didn't move, perfect, that's just what I wanted. Now I'm gonna push a bolt up to the bottom and screw it into that nut on this top bracket. 
And once that's in place, I'm gonna tack weld that in spot, and then we should be good to go. Suck this part down, retard tight. But with using aftermarket metal, and plus um, stripping this one off the old one, it's not quite fitting perfectly, but it fits good up here. So we're gonna tack weld those into place, and then we're gonna take a hammer and try to beat that down. I got that piece in, and you're not gonna bend it down using a little wimpy fucking body hammer here. You gotta bust out Thor and you gotta smash it in. Well, don't get too violent because you don't wanna warp your panel, but enough that you can get that flap down that you can weld there in place, so that's done. And the driver's side floor pan is finally put in. So, you know what that means? It means it's motherfucking beer time. That's what it means. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. I'm gonna end the video there, putting in the driver's side floor, my 57 Chevy. <sighs> Fuck, it's one of those projects that once you start, you gotta be dedicated to. I kind of put it on and off. Well, no shit, it's been working on it for like the last 10 years, when I should be out on the road enjoying it right about now, and so just fucking around with it a little bit here and there. But anyways, we'll get it done. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.